Handling setbacks. Life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. That message came from Albert Einstein. When you experience a setback, you naturally begin to reassess the goal. You may analyze the pros and cons associated with the goal, whether it is still important to you or not. Oftentimes, setbacks have a snowball effect. Rather than getting up and dusting off your hands and moving forward, when tainted by the aftermath of a setback, you may no longer see your goal as doable or desirable. Hence, a setback can be discouraging and it may tempt you not to continue the goal. Previously, you learned the likelihood of setbacks as you learn to grow. Meaning that we told you, of course, there's going to be setbacks in life. The importance of practicing self-kindness as they occur. Just because you have a setback doesn't mean that you're a bad person. You still have to be kind to yourself. It is important to be proactive and consider that there are going to be obstacles and you can get ready to handle those obstacles as they occur. Think about it this way. If you have a walk in the park planned, a 50 cent chance of rain can be a setback. However, it doesn't mean that you can't enjoy your walk. Perhaps you may grab an umbrella and a raincoat, take it with you to prepare for the potential rain. Planning ahead allows you to be open and to monitor and adjust. A continued connection to your self-awareness may also help you to deter from being disappointed with setbacks. If you know that you have a lack of sleep will cause you to be droggy at work, for example, then you should aim for a restful night. Aim to get ready for your evening. Take your shower, set out your clothes, Get to bed at a reasonable time so that you won't be droggy for work next day. Furthermore, continue setbacks in an area that can be used as flags to reconsider your approach. If you realize that simply have, have hopping into bed can be easy done, it doesn't equip you to improve your sleep. Don't just jump into bed, get ready to go to bed. Then over time, you may use different methods of getting ready for your sleeping routine. Ultimately, you will learn that if you achieve ample rest by using your techniques of preparing for rest, then you will be very grateful that your different techniques paid off when you are not groggy for work the next day. So you see how we handled that setback? When you get to work here at Rayfield and you don't feel well, you feel sleepy and you want to put your head down on the desk, well you need to reassess what's happening the night before. Did you set your clothes out? Did you get ready for bed? Or did you simply just jump into the bed? This is a way of handling setbacks. Let's prepare for them long before they happen. And that way, you won't be disappointed. When they happen, you'll know how to handle them. Handling setbacks. Have a great day, Rayfield. It is a magnificent Monday. Let's get our week started.